Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on salicylic acid. We will cover everything you need to know. And this video is part of a video series on your skin. All kinds of skin related problems and drugs. And if you're interested in more videos, then check out the playlist I made in the description. Now for those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions and that's what this channel is all about. Now before we start a quick disclaimer, this video is meant purely informative, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now let's begin. Now the generic name of this medication is salicylic acid, but it's sold under several brand names like Acnevir, and it's available as ointment, cream and gel. Now then, how do you use it? If you want to use the ointment, make sure that you apply a thin layer and afterwards cover it with bandages, foil or tape. This allows the salicylic acid to be more effective. And if you want to use the cream or gel, then make sure you put that part of your body into warm water for five minutes. Dry your skin and then rub the gel or cream. Afterwards, cover it with foil or bandages. And after applying salicylic acid, you should wash your hands carefully and make sure it doesn't come in contact with your eyes, nose, mouth or any wounds. And if it accidentally does come in contact, then make sure to rinse it properly with a lot of water. Usually you use this medication until your complaints disappear and this can take upwards of a few weeks. If it does take longer, then please contact your doctor and ask if another treatment is more suitable for you. This brings us to the question, when should you use salicylic acid? And it's usually used to treat a lot of skin conditions, such as dry skin, psoriasis. And this brings us to dosages. And unfortunately, I can't provide you with some correct dosages here, as those differ a lot depending on your indication of use. It can range from applying it one to three times a day to just two times a week. Therefore, always ask your doctor and pharmacist precisely how much and how often you should apply. Now, salicylic acid is a very effective drug, but unfortunately, it can have some side effects. I will list the most common ones right here, but if you're looking for a complete list, then check your leaflet or ask your doctor. When using ointment, gel or cream, commonly, so 1 to 10% of all patients will experience itching. Uncommonly, so a tenth of a percent to a percent of all patients will experience a hypersensitive skin reaction, a rash, hive, an itching, or a headache, dizziness, confusion, and nausea. These last ones are often experienced by patients using a high dose or using salicylic acid for a long time. Now this brings us to the safety of salicylic acid and luckily it's safe to combine with any type of food. You can combine it with alcohol in moderations of course and you can drive safely while using salicylic acid. However, salicylic acid can have some interactions with other drugs, especially creams or ointment you put on your skin. Now, if you do apply salicylic acid on a part of your skin, then please wait 15 minutes to about 30 minutes before applying another cream or ointment. And we end off by taking a look at the safety during pregnancy or while breastfeeding. In small dosages, it can be safe during pregnancy if you use it for two weeks or less in an area as big as your home palm. If you want to use it longer or on a bigger area, then always discuss this with your doctor. For breastfeeding, it's exactly the same. And also make sure that you don't apply it on your breast or nipples. Now, I hope you know now how to use salicylic acid because that's the whole point of this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing so you never miss such an awesome medical video again, which also helps me to reach my new subscriber milestone, 5,000 subs. Thank you for watching and as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.